Okay, here's another example of a cross product, but this time, gamitin natin yung magnitude direction form. So, consider two vectors. A is 2cm, 45 degrees north of east, and B is 2cm, 30 degrees south of east. What is the magnitude and direction of the cross product A cross B? So, uh, ang gagawin natin again is just use our... Um, uh, just use our uh, second definition for determining the cross product and then the, the magnitude of the cross product for the direction is our right hand. Okay, sige. Uh, maybe a minute to solve this problem and then I'll show you the, the solution after. Okay, sige. Okay, a minute has elapsed. Let's solve this problem. So again, A is 2CM 45 degrees north of east and B is 2CM 30 degrees south of east. So, ang madaling gawin, um, uh, let's draw the problem. <laughs> diba? When we draw it, ang lalabas, ganito. So, you have A. So, this is our coordinate system. Let's say this is X and this is Y. So, vector A is about 2 centimeters, 45 degrees north of east. So, again, pag magamit kayo ng ganitong notation, you start with east, turn 45 degrees towards north. So, Sort of parang ganito yung direction na vector A. So this is vector A. And then vector B on the other hand, ano siya? Ano siya? So um, you start with east, turn 30 degrees towards south. So dito siya ngayon. Dito siya. Some, uh, masyado mahaba. Dito siya. Tapos you have, this is 30 degrees. This is vector. Uh, mukha na siyang vector B. This is vector B. Nakuha. Nakuha to. Let me enlarge this image. Yeah, na nakuha. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so um, what we want again, the magnitude of the cross product A cross B is simply the magnitude of G times the magnitude of B times sine of the sine of the angle between them. Now, what is the angle between A and B? Ano kayo yung phi? What is phi then? Huh? Phi is then equal to what? Uh, ano siya? Remember. Um, a is 45 degrees with respect to positive x. B is minus 30 degrees with respect to positive x. Therefore, what is the angle phi? You just need to add them, diba? So phi is just equal to 75 degrees. And hence, substituting our numbers here, so we have 2cm, the magnitude of vector is 2cm. The magnitude of vector B is another 2cm, sine of 75 degrees. And hence, from there, you can calculate that the magnitude of A cross B is equal to what? Uh, ano lang yan? This is simply, uh, this is simply um, 3.86 square centimeters. That's the magnitude. What about the direction? So ito yung magnitude na no? Cross product. Magnitude of A cross B. What about the direction? What about the direction? Anong direction niya? So if you use the right hand rule, remember it's A cross B but 1. So A cross B. Ano siya? Into the paper, di ba? Uh, again, so we have A cross with B. Di ba into the paper yan? Into the paper. A cross B into the paper. Tama? Tama? And hence, from the right-hand rule, we see that we see that A cross B, um, the direction is into the paper. Uh, which is given by negative um, k hat. So x, y, z, positive yung in right hand recording system ang out of the paper ang positive k hat. So, okay, I need to emphasize that. So yung ito ay positive k hat, ito ay negative k hat. Do not forget that. For a right handed coordinate system, x, y, z, positive z ang um, out of the paper, x, y, z, negative z ang um, into the paper. So the direction is into the paper or minus k hat. Hence, A cross B equals negative 3.86 k hat square centimeters. Or, kung trip mo naman, this is also 3.86 square centimeters um, into the paper. Yan. Nakuha. So that's your final answer. Ang box ko. So, yan. Question. So, Questions? May tanong? May tanong ba? Wala? Wala? Walang questions? Okay. Sige. No questions. So, 